So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, split a WordPress post into multiple pages. Um, so as you can see, I'm on the home page of my blog right now, and this is just a very long post. Uh, it takes up a lot of uh, real estate on the uh, on the page. So I would like to, um, you know, separate this into multiple pages, kind of similar to how some of these are. So even though this is uh, one post here, it's divided into multiple pages. So if I click onto the uh, multiple pages here, um, I can then you know, navigate uh, to read the rest of the content without having it all bombarded to me at the same time on the um, on the main page. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, first, uh, go to your WordPress uh, dashboard. And uh, once you log in there, uh, uh, go into post. And then, um, and then navigate to the post that you want to uh, uh, split into multiple uh, pages. So I'll go ahead and click into this one. So once this loads, this is gonna be how it. This is how it looks like. Um, so what you want to do is click into the text. I mean, I think you can do it with. No, no, you can't. <laughs> Um, because it's going to change the tags into uh, into these. Let me show you what I mean. So basically, the tag to separate a uh, split um, a post into pages is this. You just in, enter this in. However, if you type this into the visual mode and then you go back to text, see how it converts the uh, greater than or less than sign into these um, uh, uh, in, into these. Uh, uh, character thingies here. Uh, so what you want to do is make sure you're in the text mode and not the visual mode. And then you want to type this in to all the areas that you want to split uh, um, as far as splitting the pages goes. So with uh, that here, if I go back to visual, I'll see this page break. So the first page will only contain this image and this information right here. So to get to the other items, they will have to um, click on to the next page. Now, since this is a list of eight items, I want to basically separate it for so each of these each of the the items is on its separate page. So to do that, I'm going to copy and paste this. Yeah, maybe paste it here. Paste it here. Paste it here. I think I numbered this one wrong, so let me fix that. Paste it here. Paste it here. And for those who are not a little bit more unfamiliar or less familiar with the code, uh, basically you can just kind of get a gauge of where everything is by just you know the the content or the stuff in between the code. So the rule of thumb is don't put this like inside one of these. Um, you know, inside another tag, uh, make sure it's completely separated. Uh, so it doesn't cause any confusion with uh, WordPress as far as the software trying to interpret what the meaning of these uh, tags are. So if I go back to visual mode here, I should see a, a page break for every single item that I want to separate. Yep. So before I click on update, I'm going to go back to this post um, on the front end and see how it's this long post. So if I click on update now, wait for it to update. And now if I uh, go back to the, um, to the front end and refresh the page, see how it's nicely uh, done with you know, separating each of these um, items onto yeah, it, its own page. So this is kind of really nice for organization as well as getting a gauge of how um, engaged your users are as far as reading your uh, your blog posts. Because for example, if they only go 
let's say you make a blog post, right? Uh, let's take this one. If in the Google Analytics, I see that they're going to page two and three, but not four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, or nine, that tells me that they're kind of interested, but it's a lot more work than it is to navigate through. Um, so that's kind of like a moderate amount uh, level of, of user engagement. Um, and uh, in other situations, you'll find out that, hey, they have not left the first page. Basically, that means that they're not even interested in finding out anything else. They just close the window. Uh, or if they actually click through all the pages, you're like, well, this is great. This is uh, a blog post that people are legitimately interested in, and they read through uh, all of the verbiage on there. So that, so in addition to the organizational advantage of being able to split the post in, um, into multiple pages, is also you get uh, valuable uh, data as far as how your users are interacting and engaging with your website. So hopefully uh, you found this uh, video tutorial helpful and if you have, make sure you like this video uh, and make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel um, as well as uh, go to my blog, uh, yanshenghuang.com. Um, here's the URL. <laughs> And make sure um, that you know. Feel free to follow me uh, on uh, on Twitter, Google Plus, Instagram, uh, and you know, like me on, uh, on Facebook. And if you want to uh, subscribe to my um, uh, newsletter as well. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, subscribing to my uh, YouTube channel.